Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for the latest episode of Rick and Morty, Rick Dependent Spray. And I actually enjoyed this one. Um, it's more of another kind of Morty-focused episode, but it was just balls out crazy, and they just kind of ran with it. So evidently, it starts out with Morty having spent the day pretty much with his mom, being like, hey, can we kind of leave here because we got the movie to see and everything? And then he sees that there's this horse jerking off machine. And he's like, oh, that's kind of interesting. She, of course, makes a crack. All right, let's go see this Marvel movie everybody's jizzing about. Not the last kind of entire jizz thing that is related to this episode. And he wants to uh, volunteer at the equine place. You can kind of understand why. There's a lot of freaking sex stuff in this season. It's like, yep, well, let's kind of see how this works out. So Morty's kind of happy with himself, just sitting on the roof like whatever. And evidently Rick has chosen that time to use the horse sperm for an experiment. But evidently Morty has used it so much that... Um, his sperm is, like, completely mixed in with there. Though, granted, if you're gonna fucking go with that kind of maneuver, uh, trying to take out any of the evidence would be of paramount fucking importance. But, he, of course, doesn't tell Rick what's going on and exacerbates this whole scenario as he's, like, using this horse sperm because they have to go, uh, evidently, on at least this version of Earth, or like, of what's going on with this one, there are horse people that they call chuds that are like cannibalistic motherfuckers that they like are at war with, and he's trying to create like a doomsday kind of thing to like take those motherfuckers out. Well, he does the thing, and it just creates giant sperm that have m uh, mouths and teeth and shit, and are eating and killing people, and just creating fucking mayhem. And they're just like, ah shit, ah shit, ah shit. And Morty still isn't telling anything going on. Rick pretty much has an idea of what it is, but he's like, fine, whatever. The president pretty much calls him in to kind of figure out what's going on. They think that Morty would never lie about this kind of situation, and it says that it wasn't anything that they'd done. They get this, like, sperm dude in that's trying to, like, do some shit. He's like, oh, yeah, we'll do DNA analysis on this one that we captured. And fucking Morty just shoots and says, it had a gun! And then the president's just like, oh, my God. You brought an armed sperm in here. It's like, sweet Jesus. So then we see pretty much Jerry pretty much uh, becoming a water boy, motherfucker. Uh, Summer is trying to be like, uh, the, he's like, bring me all the like best men you've got. It's like, and women. It's like, then it just goes into like action movie trucks where like, no, just 100% male force. It's like, oh, sweet Jesus, this isn't going to end well. And you just see the stereotypical kind of stu stuff. We see this like blaze dude that's like this ninja kind of guy going on it's like oh yeah let's do like a pool for like how many people are going to die or whatnot and we see that the sperm are going to the grand canyon because it's a vagina and beth is like oh come on are you all in middle school and it's just like we're we've got a show talking about like uh wacky ass motherfucking killer sperm it kind of comes with the territory is it kind of stupid? Sure! But it's going on, and it's kind of funny. So, it's just like, oh, God. So they're trying to go and deal with that. They give the nukes to uh, Rick and Morty to take care of this whole scenario. They kind of crash down into the woods. This one kind of dude's, like, trying to do this plan, but then he gets kind of pretty much taken out. They've been trying to figure out uh, what to call the sperms, and the dude dies. is like, yeah. Let's call them Krispy Kremes with a C, and boom. So they're kind of separated for a little bit. Morty finds a sperm that is kind of different. It's got an eyeball and is stuck under a rock. So Morty calls him Sticky, frees him, let uh, stops people from killing him, and then goes. The blazing dude is able to fucking find a cave with, like, just reasons. And then they're, like, going in, and... He's, like, doing all this shit to kind of get prepared and pretty much accidentally kills himself. And we learned that uh, he's, like, married to Kathy Ireland or whatnot? Uh, some Sports Illustrated lady. And is wearing her thong. It's like, 
All right. This this bit, because the model chick pops up later. is like, oh, just tell me if he was wearing my thong. He's like, yeah, yeah, he was. Fucking animalistic pig. It's like, all right. That was the only joke that I was like, I didn't hate it. I wasn't even, I was just more like, eh, okay. And then they find out that, uh, yeah, you'd need, like, a lady for, like, a kickboxing kind of match because you could be, like, fighting a sperm queen. Spoiler alert, we get a sperm queen that's got, like, a robo kind of thing. It's like, yeah, we're going to use, uh, we got the whole horse thing and we're going to create uh, an army and shit like that. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, uh, Rick pretty much got, like, uh, captured and kind of, like, I don't know. It's sperm we're dealing with. So, it wouldn't, it's some kind of sperm thing. He's like, yeah, I'm being a hand job solo over here. And he, like, knocked himself down. He's like, I don't want to see you getting, like, pretty much milk, man. I, that ain't my bag. And then, of course, Sticky pops up, starts doing some fighting shit. Everybody gets out. They, like, beat him and all that. And they're getting ready to kind of nuke him. But, of course, the president is like, what the fuck's going on? Rich Sanchez screwed us again. Summer, of course, floats the idea of, like, hey, wouldn't they be going for an egg? And then this other dude suggests it instead. And then the president goes with that because of the dude. And it's just like, god damn it. So they decide to set up a giant egg at Las Vegas. And everybody's like, yeah, they would have gone to Las Vegas anyway. But, of course, Morty then comes clean that it's his sperm. They've also got the Cirque du Soleil people, like, working out to help them to, like, stop the sperm from going for the eggs. They're like, we gotta stop it because it'll make an incest baby. It's like, yeah? And, of course, it's also pretty much on a kind of rocket thing to be shot into space as well. Because we'll see reasons. So, they pretty much try and do, like, a whole kind of wall thing. You get a kind of Lord of the Rings, uh, Battle Helm's Deep kind of thing, where... <laughs> They're like spraying the wall with spermicide, and I'm like, where would you even get that amount of uh, that giant amount of spermicide? And the press is like, it's Las Vegas. That's like, yeah, yep. And they're pretty much trying to shoot at it. It's like, what about that one with uh? That's like, what about that one with a fucking dynamite and shit like that? It's like, uh, we got this, and then it like blows up. It's like, fine, whatever. So they're kind of like riding around a couple, like her and Beth, no, Beth and Summer get on like two of the sperm and like kind of ride them around and do their own kind of thing while Rick and Morty pretty much get captured by the chuds and we find out that Rick is an enemy to them because he had relations with the princess the princess is like no don't do it and then says all this stuff under the like their constitution and shit like that like I'm pregnant with the kid it's like oh shit it's part of the prophecy who dropped this scroll oh yeah shit never mind that's mine and they decide to work together and help and they like fight and Stop the sperm people. The, the Krispy Kremes. Um, from doing it, uh, they take out the queen because she came back. And then Sticky uh, goes up and flies up into the egg. And they they had already had a countdown to get it, uh, get it away. But the thing is, they usually, in the movies, you see it at like 10 seconds. But with this, it's like, yeah, it takes 30 minutes because you usually focus on those last 10 seconds. And that gets blasted into space for the fucking crazy ass incest baby uh rick of course is like hey yeah uh because we've seen a theme of like trying to have rick have a relationship at least so far in this in these different episodes he's like hey yeah uh i'll be together with you princess chud and she's like oh yeah i'm gonna have it has her kind of like rick horse baby he digs underground he's like yep yeah, that's it they can do it themselves well see you later and then she digs under and they're like party good ways like oh okay yeah um that was definitely an adventure. And then, of course, we get to the end credits scene, and we see that this dude's complaining about, like, the stuff that's gone on in his life before the incest baby comes up and fucking rattles him like a goddamn toy. It's like, yeah, fuck that dude. It's Houston Control was saying. It's like, ah! That was an interesting kind of, like, crazy-ass just thing. And I'm kind of liking these. I can understand why uh, some people wouldn't like these kind of episodes because they're kind of focusing... Well, the last uh, two really focused on Morty's kind of stuff and how he kind of deals with these kind of crazy-ass Rick situations. So hopefully we'll see kind of like a Rick kind of more focused episode or whatnot at some point and see kind of him dealing with stuff. But I kind of like that they're bringing in the other kind of carriers, uh, carriers, characters and doing different kind of situations and just sometimes going balls out wild and just 
running with something. Now, sometimes that's not going to completely work out in its favor, and sometimes that will. Lately, I've been enjoying them more uh, because it's like, okay, that's an interesting scenario, and then it just kind of like goes and just the progression of how the kind of scenario goes and the jokes that come along with it have just been entertaining to me. Uh, so I really, I'm, I was wondering kind of what they would be doing with this season, and I've been pleased with it so far. So hopefully that'll keep going and we'll kind of see how that works out. So those are my opinions on the episode. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also, like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.